Hello everyone. So as you see behind me, I started getting the houses kind of set up. This is what they're going to be looking like uh, for our little village shopping district, I guess you could say, villager shopping area, uh, because we're going to have villagers inside here. They're going to have their bed, and I just threw that in for good measure, but we're going to have their stands and stuff sitting right here so they won't be able to get out and won't be able to get put in danger um so yeah it's in the process and i'm gonna go ahead and keep working on this and start recording little tidbits here and there of me getting this section done that section will have to come later because this is a lot to do so i'll see you guys when i'm all done
right, so I've done quite a bit of work. You can see it from over here. I did start and finish the landscaping on the left side. We also had to go get a couple more villagers for the potato farm because something happened and we haven't quite figured it out, but we lost a couple again. Um, the whole area is lit up, so nothing should be able to get to them, but somehow we're losing them. Uh, and they are, we, we've done the whole purchase and the whole name tag. We've done everything. Um, so we don't know what's going on with that. But, so I did get the houses for the most part done. I still have to put beds and everything in them, but I think we're, we're kind of waiting on the upper row beds until we're ready to go because we came to a realization that I'm spawn proofing everything with half slab stairs you name it um, so we're looking at the possible factor that if someone were to come in here and start a raid where would we have them go or where would they spawn so I think we're looking at possibly doing some kind of a raid spawning area above us we just haven't quite decided what we're going to do specifically but as you see down here I started off with six houses I have six houses again and then up starting those next five rows there there's actually eight houses on each one of those rows so that's gonna be pretty nice um, and then over here as you see, I split that wall sideways there because I'm only planning on doing uh, just a few rows of houses here and then other stuff up top. Now, this red area isn't going to be so red in the near future. I am possibly, I'm, I'm kind of tossing around ideas between doing some trees or possibly doing what I did back in our courtyard behind the house. So, we'll, we'll have to see from there. Um... I'm going to take you guys back there again um, in case uh, someone missed what it looks like now. But basically we took moss blocks and went to town with them. That was a bad landing. Um, but we took moss blocks and kind of had some fun. As you see, the snow from the mountains has started taking over the area, which uh, is okay. I at least got it to look nice. Um, so yeah, and when all that grows in, it'll be nice and really pretty. Um, so yeah, a couple other things that I worked on was some more mining, which that was fun. Uh, we still have yet to find any axolotls. I, I don't know what the deal is, but uh, apparently they're, they're far and few in between. So right now the fish tank or the aquarium, whatever you want to call it, is empty at this point. So we still have to work on that. Uh, we did... We have a couple new AFK spots. One of them is a I, I call them C you know Sea Temple Farms. I everyone has their own way of calling things out on these games, um, but that's to me they're just Sea Temple Farms. Um, and then we also have an Enderman Farm. I haven't been to quite yet, uh, so we're gonna I'll probably go take a look at that later but for now I just wanted to kind of show this is where we're at right now with the housing uh, again this is gonna have a bunch of villagers in it uh, for trading and gonna be a instead of having a trading hall it's gonna be a trading village um, and we've got this lovely rail system set up right here because we're not gonna be taking all these villagers by boat or trying to do any other methods this is about the 
easiest way that we can do it. Um, so he's got his Augustus uh, set up this nice little area here. It looks like we have a few. So I'll have some babies in there, which is good. Um, so we'll have those up and moving on it here shortly. He does have a little AFK spot that he made up there that he sits in and stuff to let them all grow through. And then I did take down some of this little tunnel area here at the top instead of an entry. Hard to tell where it's at. I went ahead and did this. I, again, I am looking for a little bit more decorative look up here. Um, but for the most part, this has been cleaned up. Looks nice. Nice entryway. So we'll have to see what I decide to do up here. Kind of tossing a few ideas around. Um, but yeah, I did. I'm on, like I said, I'm only going to be putting a few houses up on each one of these platforms, maybe three or four, and going from there. We just want to make sure that we make it good for the villagers. Sorry, I'm, my boys are being a little bit much right now. They're they're a bit hyper today because it's nicer weather out. Uh, so yeah, but I just I wanted to show you guys so far what I've got. Uh, and then in the next video, I should have the rest of that finished and hopefully have my mind made up on what I'm going to do there uh, for certain. Uh, probably take y'all to the Ender Farm next time around too. Just checking on these guys while I'm right here. Okay, they're still working. Good. Okay. But yeah, so I just figured I would uh, show you guys all the progress being made. Um, it's not much, but with being a full-time mom and everything else going on in life, going as fast as I possibly can personally. <laughs> so yeah, the, um, but I will go ahead and drop the this clip here in just a minute and uh, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.